let me read this wonderful inspiration. Now, this is from Journey to the Heart by Melody Beatty. Daily Meditations on the Path to Freeing Your Soul. So I actually picked uh, March 21st because it was kind of spring <laughs> related. So this says, nurture the seasons of your soul. Study nature's ways. Learn her rhythms, her seasons, her cycles. See how she hibernates and rests during the cold winter, using that time to replenish and, and heal. <laughs> See how she bursts forth in a slow crescendo of green and bright colors over the spring, rejoicing in the inevitable new growth. See how she gives her all her grandness performance over the summer months before gradually descending into a final burst of changing colors in autumn. Watch her cool down, return to her depths, and again, take time to replenish. These same seasons are within us. There are times to take action to be busily involved with creating and doing and participating and giving. There are quieter times when we are being prepared for those times of activity. We cannot give and give without taking time to replenish ourselves. There are times of gentle growth when the fresh blades of grass, the first signs of spring begin to emerge in our lives whether those signal a new stage of personal growth, a new stage in a love relationship, or the first buds of life on a project that we're creating. And each season, each time, leads into the next. There is purpose and value in each day of your life, in each season of your life. Nurture your times of action, of creating, of doing, and value your quieter times of going within. The more you study nature, the more you will learn about yourself. Nurture and trust the seasons of your soul. So that's a nice, beautiful, inspirational uh, passage for today. And so you can take that into your meditation. Now you can use whatever meditation practice you like for today. But if you would like something to use, uh, this is one that I like to use on occasion if I just kind of need uh, a little bit deeper connection or if my mind is wandering uh, a little bit more than usual. Uh, it's uh, saying deep on the inhale and peace on the exhale. So it's just deep peace. And many times I use that like if I'm driving and I'll just remind myself as, as I'm driving, you know, to appointments or, or what have you. And so that's something that you can use today.